make my Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a kind of random video, but I thought it would be super fun to show you guys and let you guys meet my pets. Um, I've had quite a bit of pets in my life, um, but I thought it would be super fun to like let you guys meet them and just tell you about how I got these pets because I honestly got them in pretty fun ways, at least I think they're fun ways and not normal I guess. But let's get into my first one, which is having a meltdown outside my door, which is my cat. Um, let me go grab her. Okay, so a little backstory on Cora. Um, I'm going to try to talk loud enough for you to hear me because she's currently in heat. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's like, I guess, the equivalent of a period for a cat. Um, but she's currently in heat, so she's <laughs> meowing a lot. Um, but I really wanted to film this video. I don't know why. I could have waited, but I chose to film it. But... Um, just how we got Cora is, is that we, um, my mom knew of, like, a friend of a, like, her friend's friend was, like, selling these, like, black kittens, and we wanted to go, we went and we drove out to, like, I don't even know, like, West Jordan or something to go and pick up and pick our cat, and this is the one we chose. She's kind of a brat, but we love her. Um, the story behind her name actually is it's, like, my great grandma's name my great grandma's name so yeah i'm gonna grab her now if she wants to cooperate this is my cat kind of a brat ah! we might introduce her later um but i'm just gonna put up a couple of pictures right here while i just like i don't know vibe in the corner but this is just a couple pictures of her because she's kind of crazy right now and I can't really show you her on camera. But that's that's her. She's cute. I love her. She's just kind of in a... I don't know. She's in heat, so she's just not doing well. This is my puppy. His name's Winston. Um, we got him when we lived in a in this, like, our huge house. It was before my parents separated. Um, so my uncle lived in the basement of our house as just as you know because he was living with us at the time and he was biking he likes to ride it he liked to ride his bike a lot so he was biking around and he saw that like this house in the neighborhood was selling puppies so me and my dad and my mom my sister was at her friend's house we went and rode our bikes to where he was like being sold from and we got him and like some little some like dog food for the time being um for about a hundred bucks He's absolutely adorable. My mom treated him like he was an absolute baby. So now he's just a baby and that's how he is all the time. But we love him. He's adorable. What do you have to say? What do you have to say for yourself? Say hi, Winnie. Hi. Okay. That's it for this guy. He's he's cute. I love him. We've had him for like ever. Um, a f sad fact about him is that he's had seizures before. Not not the best thing, but we've we know how to handle it, so like we do okay. But he's had like four, I think. He had two in one day and then two one on each on different days. But it's been there's been months in between it, so he just had two a little couple days ago or something. So he should be okay for the next couple months before we should be seeing another one ever. So I'm hoping not to see one for the rest of his life, but you know. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my next pet. Um, this is really hard for me to do, but my next pet is my fish. His name is Gilbert. Um, how we got about this name, or how I got the fish too, I was at the state fair with one of my best friends. Um, she invited me to go with her family. And what ended up happening is that we were like, mm, let's, she like paid for me to get, to play this game. And I won. I got a ticket and then I went to go to like a different stand where it was exactly like a, I think similar game, but I would have gone to fish either way. Um, but I went and I was like, look, I got a ticket. Like, can I get my fish? Right? So I get my fish. I kind of pointed at like what kind of one I wanted, I guess. But this is the fish I got. Um, it's been a, quite a bit since the state fair. The state fair was in like September and it's like January now. So he's living pretty good so far. I'm really proud of him. He's supposed to, you know, when you think of state fair fishes, it's like a sad goldfish that would die in like three months. He's doing pretty good, and I have pretty high hopes for this guy. Um, also, how we got about his name is I was walking around with him, right? 
and this little kid was like, oh look, that's a fish named Gilbert. I personally didn't know that he said that until later on, and then Sam, my friend Sammy told me about it, and I was like, mm, is that going to be his name now? Yes, because I couldn't think of a name. So now his name is Gilbert, and it's spelled G, wait, G-I-L-B-U-R-T. Not B-E-R-T, wait, B-E-R-T, it's B-U-U-R-T, okay? But I have him on my lap. I took the filter out because it added like a lot of like cord things. So I unplugged the rest of this cord and then I left the filter and the cord on there because it was kind of too much for me to handle. But this is Gilbert. He has like a Peppa Pig thing in there and like a rock. I don't really have a lot for him. I need to get him a new filter and then I'm hoping my mom's gonna help me get the filter for him, the like new filter for him, but I'm hoping that when I start earning my own money, um, I can get him some fun stuff for his tank. Yeah, so this is Gilbert. Let's take another look at him. He's just really heavy, so. See, like, he doesn't look like a normal goldfish. I feel like he looks different and bigger and, like, there was even a moment where we thought that he was a koi fish and then we would have had a really big problem because he would have gotten huge. Anyway. That's what's happening currently. Uh, I mean, he's not a koi fish. We've been, he's been this size since I got him. So he's not a koi fish, but still. Okay, so that's actually it for the pets I currently own. But I wanted to talk about and give you guys like a backstory on some other pets that I've previously owned. Um, first up, when I was very, very little, um, I had a different cat named Sugars. Um, that cat has been in our family for like ever. It used to be my uncle's cat and then he gave it to my dad and then we've had it for like ever. Um, eventually we had to put him down. He was having some uh, like issues. So we had to put him down, but we're gonna, here's like a fun story for you about him. Um, he was, so we went to Hawaii, right? And I think we, we like to let him like go roam in our backyard, right? So I think we let him out, what I was told at least, he was very young, so from what I know, is that we let him outside before we left, and when we came back, we he was nowhere to be found, like he wasn't in our backyard, he was literally nowhere, and I guess we, I personally, I don't know exactly, I guess we let him out sometime before we left, and then we left, not thinking about letting him back in or something, I'm not exactly sure, but when he came back, you know, and then one day on the news, they are talking about this polydactyl cat so if it's a polydactyl and you know it's like the paw right and then it has another like claw or whatever whatever it's called i don't know um right here um and so we knew that, that was our cat because like it looked exactly like our cat and it was a polydactyl and that's that was our cat our cat had looked like that and it was a polydactyl i'll put pictures right here for all of the pets that i we don't for as many as i can do for pets that I don't own, but I know I have pictures of him. Um, he was absolutely adorable. I miss him so much. I haven't, you know, obviously I haven't seen him in years, but I miss him so much. It literally breaks my heart. Um, another one, the, another cat that I've had that literally breaks my heart to even think about is my, um, my cat, our cat. Um, so when we got this cat, it was a stray cat. It was just like wandering the neighborhood. Trust me, we did like we went door to door around our neighborhood trying to find out who owned this cat because it kept coming into our yard and we just we faded fed it a little bit but then it kept you know just like kept coming back and we did not know what to do because we wanted to make sure it had a good home um eventually we found out that it did not have a home so we decided to keep the cat um we ended up naming him llama my sister was really obsessed with llamas for a hot while so she really wanted a llama so she we, they, we named him after that um so fast forward we've had him for like you know years since the obviously like i said we with my dog winston we had him since like the big big house before my parents separated um my dad loves this cat so much as like much as he loves sugars um sugars and llama i'm almost positive they did get to see each other for a while before we had to put sugars down um and then llama we had him throughout almost since like Okay, let's see. I moved into this house maybe a little over halfway into last year, which was freshman year. Um, he died, Llama died when, um, 
sorry um llama died right before halloween right before we left um so that happened um what happened was he was hit by a car Sorry, um, he was hit by a car and we didn't really know about it until I got home from school that day and it was really rough for me at least and like, yeah, I don't know, okay, we're gonna move on. Okay, sorry about that, um, you know, that death was pretty recent, um, when it comes to llama, so it was, I don't know, it still hurts me a lot to even think about, so... Okay, but moving on, so before that too, um, in the big house with um in the big house you know we're just gonna call it the big house because that's what i've been calling it is just the big house but in that big house we had chickens Woo! so when we got these chickens um we built like a built it like a big coop or whatever um and we you know we got eggs blah 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 we did that for a while um what have what ended up happening i don't even know if these chickens might even be still alive but I'll get into that in a second. So we did have this one baby chick that died. We buried it in our backyard. We buried a lot of different dead birds in the backyard because our cats kept killing them. Because my mom felt really bad, so we buried them. But we did bury our little chick. It was like little and black from what I can remember. And then we had a bunch of chickens, all girls, obviously. Um, I think, I don't know if Harry was a girl or not, but we had this one chicken. It was white and it had feathers on its feet. And we named it Harry. Um, my dad loved this chicken for like, I don't know, we, me and my dad and stuff, we all had, and my sister, we all had this like attachment to that chicken and like, they all, all the chickens in general just ended up coming in our house a lot and pooping everywhere because we were like, whatever, like you can come in. But then my mom was like, dude, they keep pooping everywhere. So why do we keep letting them hang out in our house? But it kept happening anyway. They didn't really get that far into our house, like only like a little bit into the kitchen, but like, that's about it. And then we would be like, go get out. I don't know why you're in here, but get out. Um, we loved them, but what ended up happening is that we let them, we let, we're moving and just things were happening, so we, I, I don't know, I don't even think we were moving, I think, I don't even know what happened to be honest with you, but we gave the chickens to my cousins and my uncle and my aunt, and we let them live at their house that they were at the time, and just, yeah, what they were, what was going on with them at the time, we were like, yo, you can have our chickens, so they had like a cute little coop for them, for them, and that's that's what happened they were there right and then later on they thought that our chickens were killed and eaten by a raccoon which i'm you know that doesn't really make me that sad because later on we're at our friend's house right and we're just like standing in the backyard and then we look over the fence and my mom starts freaking out and we're like mom why are you freaking out and she's like that's our chickens like that's hairy and we go over and we're like, mm, hey, like, that's, I, we think that's our chickens. Like, I don't know how they got over here. Because, like, there's a significant walk that they would have had to take to get over there. And he just, like, said that he found them and that Harry was, Harry, our favorite chicken, was not doing so great. So they took him to the vet, or, like, the guy took him to the vet. Um, we let him keep the chickens and we just were very appreciative that he found them and was able to, like, care for them but we let them keep the chickens because we obviously were not caring for them at the time mark like um and my cousins were so we just let them keep the chickens but you know i thought that was very fun and crazy i guess i did never thought that that would happen that we just like find our chickens like freaking forever away from where they were staying before but like they managed to make the journey so i'm pretty proud yeah i don't really know what happened to them they may be dead now they may still be alive they're probably dead now because it's been a forever but like still um i also did have fish um at one point really not really a backstory um it, i will insert the names of two of the fish right here because apparently i named them i do not remember exactly but my mom told me what the names were like a little bit ago but i don't remember exactly right at the moment but i'll put them right here um, but we did have like this huge huge tank with fish like goldfish and bigger fish But the big fish kept eating the little fish So we eventually got rid of all the fish and then gave our tank to a family member So that happened Okay guys, so I guess that's it for this YouTube video um, It was kind of short kind of random 
But I really hope you guys enjoyed just me sharing you guys, sharing a part of my life that I just makes me really sad when it comes to talking about my dead pets. But I'm glad you guys were able to meet my real pets, the ones I still have. But I hope that's really fun for you guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys liked seeing my pets and me talking about that. Um, I can do more. I wanted to do some fun videos with my pets. I wanted to go do a video where I take my dog out to the park and do a little doggy, doggy sister, brother sister type date with my dog. Because he is, in my opinion, we consider him my brother rather than my pet. Um, and that's how we consider Cora to Gilbert, however, is my son because he's only my pet. Cora and Winston, however, are my sister and my brother. That's that's my baby though, right there. That's my baby. You know? Anyway, I'd love to do a video like that, so comment down below if you have any other videos that I could totally do with my pets because I feel like that would be so fun to incorporate them more into my videos, which would be absolutely amazing. Um, however, Gilbert lives in a tank, so I can't really take him out to do things. I mean, I could try. I'd be totally down to take him to do something, but I don't know how I'd do that, so. But, um, a last, but, cut. Um, but I hope you guys really like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I want to reach my goal of 130 subscribers, um, soon, hopefully by Feb September. Whoa. I want to reach that goal by February. I want to reach that goal by February. Um, so if you guys would please subscribe and share it to your friends, I'd love that. But yeah, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my vlog channel, which is linked in the description, and go follow my Instagram, which is also linked in the description if you haven't already. I update everybody on my channel on there a lot. Um, I post every Wednesday and occasionally Friday. So f after this video on Friday at 6 p.m., um, you will be able to see a Q&A that is going to be coming out. So definitely click that, click that notification. The little so definitely click that notification bell so you guys can be alerted about that as well. But yeah, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or just whenever you're watching this. Bye!